You may have seen a billboard here in Madison County calling for Representative Mo Brooks to step down. Well, it's not the only one. There are several more like these across the country sponsored by a group that formed following the Capitol riots. Our Kenesha Dees has more details on the movement. I'm here on County Line Road and Highway 72 West, where there's one of quite a few billboards calling for the resignation of Representative Mo Brooks. This billboard backed by a group called the Republican Accountability Project that was launched last month. You know, actions have consequences, and when you're an elected official, your words matter. Olivia Troy, the group's director and former coronavirus task force advisor to former VP Mike Pence, says the billboard campaign stemmed from false claims about the 2020 election by former President Donald Trump and a number of Republican leaders. All of these you know, lies and insightful rhetoric and calling for action and violence and going to battle and you know giving your life for it and all of this type of language led to what we saw happen uh, on January 6th. WZDX News reached out to Brooks press secretary who declined to comment. However, in response to the billboards, Brooks tweeted just a week ago in part, he would proudly stand with Senators Cruz and Hawley, who are among the 11 elected leaders also plastered on billboards, asked to step down from their positions. Joy says the billboards will stay up until the end of this month and are just phase one of their campaign. They plan on running another ad this coming week in 22 states. Alabama is one of them. It's tailored towards Republican senators, like reminding them and asking for the conviction of Donald Trump as this impeachment trial kicks off. Joy says this project is in it for the long haul. We plan to hopefully weed out the mega candidates who are going to be out there running for office or running for re-election. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News.